All right. Thank you so much for staying with us for all angles. I'm reminded of when um, I, I, I did an interview um, and I was saying, you know, it's a feel good program for all angles. And my guest said, all angles is a feel good program. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we do, and this segment is a feel-good segment. So in August, we're talking to healthcare workers at different facilities across the island. It was Megan Tapo um, who said that. We're talking to healthcare workers at various facilities across the island. I went to the National Chest Hospital. One of the healthcare workers who spoke to me happened to say how much she wanted a car. And last week, her wish was granted. Take a look. She was very low and she told me that she, she has lupus, so she's battling. I was there encouraging her and first thing she said to me, the Lord bless you. And I said to her, thank you for the blessing. I wish all these blessings could get me a car because I'm tired of walking. And she said, don't worry, just be humble. And this morning when I came, she was leaving in a body bag. It pains my heart. So today we're here because we're celebrating our grant to wish program. Once again, NCB is focusing on giving back to our customers and our communities through our grant to wish program. Our grant to wish program, which is really powered through the NCB Foundation. There has been no one more hardworking for the past two years than our frontline workers, and we were so proud to make her dream come true. It's still, it's still vividly in my mind and that morning I was really and truly devastated and depressed because of what was going on. I think that it took a mental state on me. No, a lot of persons didn't know and realize because of the person that I am, I will still smile even through a storm. And when you said to me that, um, why do you don't want to do the interview? And I was like, I am depressed. And then you said, 
it's you I want to talk to. I was okay, just for two minutes, and it is all this. <laughs> well, I actually started out as a female attendant, and if you're wondering what that is, it's basically housekeeping, the janitorial part of the job. And when I first came to, well, I actually started at Mona Rehab Hospital. And when I first came to National Chess, it was, it was a big welcome because I came down here as a, a part-time replacement because they were short staff. And persons gravitated to me and said, Merchant, take a transfer, man. And I, was, I went home and I said it to my mother. And she said, well, if you feel like you want to move, go. And I went back to my supervisors at Mona Rehab and they said, all right, you just write and we will execute. And that's how I ended up here. Um, how I ended up being a patient care assistant. The passion. I'm very passionate about being around persons that are sick because I was the one who was taking care of my mom from a tender age alongside with my siblings and it was a task, and I felt the love at National Chess. Um, we take time out to take care of our patients, and everything just happened. I sent myself back to school, went and, pardon me? Um, to do the patient care assistant, and then it all started. It's been three years now since I've been in this category. Do you like it? I love it. Because it allows me to know that um, persons are, we are blessed. We who are looking at the patients, we are blessed. And sometimes I do make connections with the patients, both spiritually, physically, and mentally. Because even to just sing to them, it does a lot. And I love to sing. Mrs. Miller, honestly, the interview that put me up. I am currently doing subjects, CXC subjects, and that was paid for by um, a lone person that thought that I should go and do RN, the registered course, nurses course. And yes, I will go further because as I tell you, I used to be the one who um, look after my mom and it's been a challenge, but I will succeed. It's not just me alone, it's a team of us. You know, maybe because I was highlighted, but it's a team of us. Well, it's a gift, and I want to enjoy it first hand, and then we'll think about what's next. And affordability, blessings is always out there, and I believe in miracles. Somebody will buy me some gas, Somebody will help me to maintain it. And if I prayed for it and it happened and came at my foot free, of course, who knows what will happen next. A big thank you to NCB Foundation, Make-A-Wish, and special thank you to TVJ for highlighting me. And a, a big heartful thank you to National Chess especially my co-workers and friends who supported me throughout everything, everything. You know, they were there from the start. So I'm very glad that this day is happening, everything is happening well. I know that the spotlight will just be for a moment, so I'm enjoying it.